Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm an art teacher and I've created this drawing video to show you how to draw spider webs. The tutorial comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Please check out my videos and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's up in the corner. It really does help me make more of these. Now here's how you can make your spider web drawings look much more realistic. The trick to drawing a good looking spider web is to watch the spacing of the rings. These center ones need to be close together and the rest a little further apart. Also, if you make the ring lines kind of curved as they go from line to line, that will help too. Watch me draw a few and I'm sure you'll get the idea. You're going to need some good black cardstock paper. I cut some down to four and a quarter by five and a half inch rectangles. Also, Crayola metallic markers are great for younger students and Sharpie metallic markers are good for older ones. Those Sharpies are permanent, so they need more supervision than the Crayolas, which are water-based. The very first step is to decide where the center of your spider web is and make a dot. I'm starting with one in the top right corner. Next, draw straight lines that radiate out until they reach the edge of the paper. I like to have about two or three lines going to each side. Work slowly to make them straight, but don't worry if they're not perfect. They will only look a little more real if they are wobbly. Now start drawing rings around that center dot and make them kind of curve as they jump from line to line. Draw about four of them or so all close to the center and all pretty evenly spaced apart. Now draw the rest of the rings with a growing amount of space in between them. Some will eventually go off the page, just make your best guess as to how they would continue. By the way, these larger spaces are a great place to add a spider. So let me show you another example with a center that starts in the bottom right corner this time. Now draw the radiating lines going out about two or three to each side. Next, start drawing the small rings around the center, making them pretty close together. and add more rings that are spaced further apart to finish things off. Now here's another example, this time starting in the bottom left corner. The straight lines are added, again with about two or three going to each side. Then start drawing the smaller rings, which remember are pretty close together. And then finish off with the larger rings that are further apart. So how about one more example just for good measure? This spider web is going to start in the top left corner. The straight lines are added, all radiating out from that center dot. Then the smaller rings are drawn, sitting pretty close together.
And finally, the larger rings that are further apart. So there you have it, a full range of spiderweb drawings. I hope you can see the formula so that you can now start drawing some of your own. Keep in mind that you don't have to have fancy white paint markers. These silver ones look great and they cost a whole lot less. Hey, thanks for following along with me and I hope you've enjoyed this drawing tutorial video. I have even more tutorial videos like this one on my website, Arch Projects for Kids, including how to draw a witch and how to draw a haunted house, which might look pretty cool with a lot of spider webs that you now know how to draw. I hope you check them out too and I'll see you next time.